We are traveling across Europe to try and understand what people here are wanting and hoping for their future. Currently, if you want to travel between Turin and Lyon, it takes four hours. Once this tunnel is built, they hope it will be an hour and 40 minutes. So it will be a really important part of connecting Italy and France, especially in this region. Exactly. You also have to know that between France and Italy, the transport of goods, it's very important. Every year, 40 millions of tons of goods are transported, but mainly on road. So these new lines should also uh, be able to reduce pollution as, you know, the number of trucks on the road would be decreasing. Once completed, the tunnel we're now entering is set to be 57.5 kilometers long. How much has been excavated from this point? This, from this point are excavated 7 uh, kilometers point 9. The 8.4 billion euro project is 50% funded by the European Union and 25% funded by both French and Italian governments. They are destroying our future. We are defending uh, the life of our son, of our uh, children. Uh, uh, because uh, if they, they are looking at the valley like a transit area and they are, they are going to destroy, but uh, this is the place where we live. It's a beautiful area, um, a lot could be done with it, but um, a little bit is uh, the stubbornness of people and some is uh, the corruption of the government, it has to be said. For younger people, they, they were born in Europe and they don't know anything else but, but Europe. For them, it's, it's, it's quite normal to, to travel wherever they want to go to and they don't make a big difference between Italy or France. They, I have many friends that have been working all over Europe uh, already with 25 uh, years of age and uh, but I think older people m might be more attached to where they come from. Three years ago Mercy left Nigeria and entered Europe through Libya, a traumatic story she doesn't feel comfortable sharing. Her asylum request in Italy has been rejected and she's applied for a humanitarian visa but a tougher new government stance means she could face deportation. I feel rejected and I feel very bad because uh, actually it's not something I expected since I came here. I've done a lot of things. I have tried to, to you know, to forget about my past and move ahead. I've tried to live above my past. 